Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And today I would like to explain to you how you can disable page comments on SharePoint sites. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Um, so by default, the modern pages support comments feature. What that means is that if you navigate to the bottom of the page, so I happen to be on the internet um, you know, main site at the moment, uh, main landing page, and at the bottom of the site, you will see the comments section, and everyone can, uh, pretty much every member of the site can, uh, uh, you know, can, um, you know, comment, uh, provide their comments. If you notice, uh, Mary already provided one, and it works almost like uh, Twitter, where you can uh, um, like the comments, you can pause the comments, reply to comments, etc. Uh, and this is on by default. So anytime you create a modern site, uh, anytime, of course, you're utilizing modern pages, uh, you will get that uh, comment section. Now, there are some sites where this might be appropriate, right? Uh, let me navigate maybe to a, an HR private team site. Here we go again. I have this comment section and, um, you know, I can, uh, I can provide a comment here. I can post it. Uh, and it's now, uh, part of the record, part of the page, if you will. So it's okay here because it's a, a kind of a private team site, etc. But there are some sites where I maybe do not want the comments uh, kind of uh, displayed or enabled, right? Uh, and the you know the main site is one of them. All right. So there are two ways for you to um, disable those comments. You can disable it uh, pretty much on a page level, locally, if you will, and then you can also disable. Uh, them globally. So, for example, in this particular case, I don't want anyone to to comment on this page. Uh, so, I'm going to disable it. What you need to do is click the edit button, put your page into the edit mode, uh, and again, we're going to scroll down, and you will see this toggle over here. So, by default, it will be on. I'm going to say off. Uh, it does not really delete uh, the comments, you know, that um, have been there previously. So, if I uh, enable it again. You will notice that the um, you know the comments are back. The whole history is back. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to disable that and hit republish. And look at this. Uh, my uh, my comments are gone. The comments uh, section is gone. Uh, nice and easy. So you can do it pretty much uh, page by page uh, um, on each site. Now the problem with this approach is that uh, anyone with the members, who is the member, anyone with the edit privileges uh, can do what I just did, all right? So I happen to be the site owner, uh, all right? But anyone who is a member, so um, everyone who is the who, who has added privileges to the site, um, you know, meaning they can add, add and delete documents, they can also do this as well. And the reason is, is because uh, a page it's just like a Word or Excel document. If uh, members can modify an Excel document, why not modify the page? Uh, and I actually blogged in the past on how to disable uh, that capability, how to prevent team members from messing um, you know, the pages. So you can uh, check out that blog uh, uh, post on my blog. Uh, but you know, long story short, unfortunately, even though I disabled this comment right now, anyone who is the, in the members group, uh, if they figure it out, uh, they can just click the edit button and pretty much um, you know, enable it again, all right? And hit you know, publish, uh, and unfortunately, the comments will be back. So uh, in that case, there is another option that is only available to um, SharePoint admins uh, or global admins uh, with access to the uh, SharePoint Admin Center. And that option will turn it off uh, once and for all, uh, and it will do so globally. So to do that, we need to navigate to our admin center. And we need to navigate to SharePoint admin center. Now, uh, at the moment, of course, Microsoft, as I'm recording this video, Microsoft is revamping the, uh, the admin center and is uh, uh, constantly uh, updating it with new features. And the feature of uh, disabling comments uh, still happens to be available. It, it's still a kind of a classic feature that's still available in the classic admin center. It has not been migrated fully to the modern center. So to get there, we're going to click on settings. And we will go uh, temporarily to the classic settings page. So we're going to go uh, yeah, to classic admin center, if you will. And 
Uh, let's wait till this loads. And essentially, um, these are some additional features uh, you can control as well. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure that um, uh, at some point, all of this will be migrated to uh, the modern admin center. But all the way at, at the bottom of the screen, you will see comments on site pages section. And again, by default, it's on. You can hit disable, click OK. And now your comments will be disabled uh, globally. Now, you will need to be patient here because it usually takes you know 15 to 30 minutes uh, for this to take effect. Uh, but trust me, after you uh, go back to your site uh, uh, within half an hour or so, in half an hour or so, you will definitely uh, not see the comment section that will be disabled. And uh, at that point, uh, the no one, uh, no one uh, will be able to enable them locally. At this point, it's pretty much disabled uh, globally. So uh, if you're a site member, site owner, uh, unfortunately, you will not be able to utilize the comments uh, uh, in this particular case. So hopefully you learned something new today. As always, uh, we'll be happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.